This is a lab exercise captured on video, on the topic of range compression, using Keysight system view taken from the Lab 2 Section 3, of the Dreamcatcher ME1510 University courseware. We are going to model, a one-dimensional range sample of SAR signal using system view, and perform range compression using pulse compression technique. To get the most out of this lab exercise, you should view the video along with the lab sheet. Please download the lab sheet from this link. You may want to pause this video to read the lab sheet first, before proceeding with the video streaming. Range compression is the pulse compression technique, used in radar signal processing to improve the range resolution, of an linear frequency modulated radar. Range compression can be performed through time domain convolution method, which involves the convolution of the received signal S, with a reference signal G. Or frequency domain multiplication method, functions are Fourier transformed and multiplied in frequency domain. In this exercise, frequency domain multiplication method, is selected for range compression process as it is less time-consuming compared to time-domain convolution method. In the first section of this lab, we are going to model a linear frequency modulated pulse radar system, using Keysight system view. We will first create a one-dimensional SAR signal modeling, with single point target return, then followed by two additive targets modeling to determine the minimum detectable range between two targets. First, we are going to create a new blank workspace in system view. In order to ease the parameter settings, you may make use of equations tab, and create common variables under it. The syntax follows the standard MATLAB code format. Once the variables are defined, press the Go button on the left, to execute the equations. In Data Flow Analysis dialog box, set the stop time to 1 microsecond, and system sample rate to 2 GHz. In this example, we use an LFM source to model an LFM pulse with 1 GHz bandwidth, 100 arosecond pulse width, and 1 microsecond pulse repetition interval. The CX to ENV and the ENV to CX models are used to simulate the up and down convert mixers with carrier frequency FC equals 4.3 GHz. The target's environment is modeled, using a built-in radar underscore target function. Set the target's distance to 3 meters.
Once all the parts are placed into the schematic, use the mouse cursor to connect all the parts together, and form a one-dimensional LFM pulsed radar system. You may define the properties of each part in the LFM pulsed radar system easily, by using the variables defined in equations tab earlier. You may save your design as Lab 3, before you run the analysis. Note that, you have completed your design of one-dimensional LFM pulsed radar. You may run the analysis to observe the transmitted LFM pulse at transmitter and receiver. From the data set of the analysis, plot a Y versus X graph to find out the distance of the target, based on the time difference of the transmitted signal and returned signal. Bear in mind that, the LFM pulse signal is a complex signal, hence, we will plot the real part of the pulse signal only. After added the transmitted signal into the graph, next, we will add the received signal into the graph as well. You might zoom into the graph, and use marker to identify the time difference, between transmitted signal and received signal. From the graph, it can be observed that, the time difference is 20 aero second. Can you determine the target distance based on the return echo? Now, assuming there is a second target located at 3.15 meters, model the second target in the LFM pulsed radar schematic.
set the distance of the second target to 3.15 meters, which is 0.15 meters away from the first target. Run analysis again, to observe the changes on the signal graph. From the graph shown, it is obvious to say that, the radar fails to differentiate these two targets. In order for the radar to differentiate two different targets, the minimum difference of two targets distance is 15 meters, as the minimum detectable range between two targets, is limited by the width of the transmitted pulse. You may verify it by changing the distance of second target, and run the analysis again. To improve the range resolution of an LFM radar, pulse compression technique is commonly used. Pulse compression can either be achieved, using time domain convolution method, or frequency domain multiplication method. Two extra components will be added onto the existing radar model to generate the matched source signal for pulse compression, and to perform actual pulse compression. Add the two extra components from radar parts library to existing schematic, and define the pulse repetition interval to the variable defined earlier. Then run analysis again. Next, plot the waveform of the range compressed signal with respect to range. To convert the x axis of the signal plot from time scale to range scale, use the following equation range equal to c multiply with time divide by 2. Please take note that, the formula units should be defined as length, with meter as unit of measure. To add a new graph, open the graph series wizard, and select x data as range, and y data as s5.
edit the custom equations to obtain absolute value of y. This will plot the absolute value of the range compressed signal. Adjust the scale of the graph plotted and use marker to find the distance of both target. From the marker, it can be seen that the first target is located at 3 meters away from the radar, while the second target is located at 3.15 meters away from the radar. And the distance of both targets is 0.15 meters. By comparing the minimum detectable range of 15 meters of the LFM pulsed radar system without range compression, range compression technique has greatly increased the ability of the radar system to identify different targets in narrower range. In this lab session, we have learned to use Keysight System View software to model a LFM pulsed radar system with single and multiple targets. We have also identified the distance of the target by studying the return pulsed from the target. Lastly, we have also employed range compression technique in Keysight System View software in order to improve the range resolution of the LFM pulsed radar system. Thank you for viewing ME1510 lab on video. For more labs on video, please visit.